Here it is in the middle of summer. You think I'd be going to water places. And I have. Don't get me wrong. I've been swimming. I've been jogging on the beach. I've been enjoying my summer. Uh, but I haven't been going to that many events. I have been going to some. And I have some in the works. And I'm, be go I'm going to go to more. But for the past, like, three weeks, I've just been enjoying being home. Just alone in my house with my cats and just dicking around. <laughs> I think it's because it's my first time living alone in a long time. Since 2007. I haven't lived alone since 2007. In 2007, I had got a roommate, Amanda, and then I met my husband, so he moved in. And then when he left, I had Gilbert, my roommate, and then John, my roommate. And John died in January. So, I was wondering why am I just like, oh, oh, I don't know, like I don't, I, I was always free to do what I want, but I mean, you know, you never know when someone's going to walk in the door. So I would always like, you know, have certain doors closed if I was filming or if I have to go to the restroom or showering or I wouldn't walk around naked or anything like that. So it's like, because you never know who was coming in. Because even my husband might bring in his friends. Like, he never really told me when someone came in. So I, even though he was my husband, I still had to, like, close doors because I never know if someone else was in the house. So this is my first time since 2007 that I've had my house to myself. So I'm kind of just enjoying being alone in my house with my cats. And it's kind of cool, but I do got to get start getting out. Also today, I took a bath, an Epsom, a, a hot baby oil and Epsom salt bath. And that's a big deal because, like I said, I haven't been alone in this apartment since 2007. So it's been kind of really difficult to take baths, especially with roommates and stuff like that. Even with my husband, it was really hard because he would just bring people over without telling me. So I couldn't really walk around freely and get it out, in and out of the bath because I didn't know if someone needed to use the guest bathroom. But today, so I'm going to do this more often. It was so wonderful. It was baby oil and Epsom salt, really hot. I got to take a bath and that's pretty good milestone. And I'm going to do more of it. So it's kind of cool. Even though financially very stressed, very stressed, but but I am going to places, and you'll see. I will update later. I've been um, editing on my phone lately because my dinosaur computer finally failed me. So that's why you're seeing some videos later and some upright like this and not full. But I'll get the hang of it. Don't worry about it. I'm wearing my placebo shirt, by the way. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Lots happening this summer. So, solo summer, solo Stacy summer, solo cup Stacy summer. <laughs> so, I'm having a blast. So, stay tuned. Happy Sunday, y'all. Oh my god, decisions, decisions, decisions. I was out on the beach having a good time, also listening to Bazoom, uh, the Gary Dino show. And um, and then I looked at my phone, and there was something happened really cool at Alex's bar. It was a bunch of surf bands, and you know I love surf bands, but the doors open at two, and I didn't get to see the announcement till two. And so I'm like, okay, well I'll get out of the beach, and maybe I can make it. And then as I'm getting ready, I'm like, why am I doing this? The doors already open. It's a matinee. By the time I get there, it'll be almost done. There's a free concert in the peninsula. Remember, I, I saw that cute guy and I'm like, okay, is he gonna be there this time? So I kind of like, oh God, what do I do? And I wanna save my money because I wanna go to Orange County. Uh, I wanna go to OC Fair and I got some uh, concerts coming up. <sighs> this isn't, I, Instagram, it's great when you promote events. But unlike Facebook, I can't put interest in it and it goes onto my calendar. Instagram needs to figure out a way how I can put it on my calendar or get alerts or something. I need to find out what events are happening 
before they happen. Because I would have totally went. It's a bunch of surf bands and it's a matinee show. So it's day drinking, just up my alley. You know what I mean? But I just got it too late. So I don't know. Instagram, you need something better for your something. You need an alert or something. Because at least that's what Facebook has. Facebook, if you have an uh, event you want, you can put interested and you get an alert uh, later on. Anyway, that's my rant. I'm making some broccoli teriyaki right now, and I'm thinking about going to the free concert and see if that cute guy is there. So I'll keep you posted.